Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat with the Tanami News update for today, March 11th, 2024. Now, the first announcement, I'm going to go chronologically here, was that we got an announcement a couple days back that the show ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead will be airing on Tanami starting March 30th at 1230. This will be the replacement for Demon Slayer as the Entertainment District arc is set to end in the next few weeks. And another addendum to that is that the week before that, March 23rd, the finale for Demon Slayer is a bit longer, so that will take up a 45-minute time slot, which means that Lycoris Recoil would be delayed to 115, and then every other show would be just delayed 15 minutes from there on out. And again, and this is interesting because this is a show that really kind of escaped my notice. It's a summer 2023 anime. It's gotten pretty good reception for what I've seen. And this is a Viz Media production, or it's licensed through Viz Media. So, again, this one kind of escaped my notice, and and that's not common. And it's not necessarily because I know everything about anime or anything like that. It's the fact that usually Tanami plays it by the book. They're not going to get any weird, oddball anime. But they got one, you know? And from what I have seen, the best way someone has described it to me is imagine an anime version of the movie Zombieland. If you recall, Zombieland was that movie like almost like 14 years ago at this point where you had Michael Sarah, was it Jesse Eisenberg, those two guys the exact same, traveling across the country during a zombie apocalypse. They had Woody Harrelson. They also had uh, Abigail Breslin and that other woman, I can't remember her name. And they were basically traveling the country, you know, killing zombies. And that's the vibe, someone told me, that's the vibe that you get with this anime. And again, I've heard generally decent things about it. So as far as I'm aware, this is a decent pickup for Tanami. And another interesting note, and this is probably a bit reading between the tea leaves here, but the fact is, if you look at the pickups, since the pickup before this one was Lycoris Recoil, and the fact that this anime, how it's been described to me, is wildly different from Lycoris Recoil might be an indicator that, at the very least, Tanami probably is seeing Lycoris Recoil as a bit of a failure. Which, based on the ratings, would be a pretty understandable assumption. Which is a dang shame, you know. And this has been a surprising year so far for Tanami. A bizarre one. First off, you have Ninja Kamui. Kind of before at least going into the uh, premiere, it didn't get that much attention. It got announced the same time that the two new Fully Cooly sequels got announced, but no one talked about it. People were talking about Fully Cooly Grunge and Fully Cooly Shoegaze, but no one was talking about Ninja Kamui. And then Ninja Kamui airs, and it's gotten so far a pretty decent reception on the block, although I personally don't like it. And they have Lycris Recoil, a show that was. One of the, if not outright, the biggest anime of the summer 2022 season come on and be absolutely underwhelming in the ratings. You know, a show that has, I honestly can't think of a single person I've seen her, seen that's actually really said that much negative about Lycoris Recoil outside of the most common complaint is that the pacing is a bit wonky, which I'll admit, as someone who liked it, yeah, it is pretty wonky at points. But it's good enough I can look past that, you know. Okay, but enough about that. Zomb 100, Bucket List of the Dead, March 30th, 12.30 a.m., replacement for Demon Slayer. Let's so now go with the, more, the most recently given news, which just came out a couple hours ago, is that Toonami will be having a marathon of Dragon Ball Z Kai this upcoming Saturday, March 16th, 2024, in memoriam of Akira Toriyama, who days ago, the creator of Dragon Ball. And what I found interesting about this marathon is usually when we have a marathon, the whole block is the marathon, right? So you expect, oh, midnight through 3 a.m. or whatever, you'll get Dragon Ball Z Kai. This is not the case. Because we will still be seeing the debut of new episodes that night of Ninja Kamui, of Demon Slayer, of Lycoris Recoil, and for some reason, they're also going to be airing the English sub of Ninja Kamui still, even though it's technically a rerun at that point, because, you know, the dub airing like an hour and a half before that. And then from 2 a.m. on to 6 a.m. will be a marathon of the first eight episodes of Dragon Ball Z Kai. This is interesting. 
the, the, the this little difference here is interesting in how they did it. I can kind of understand the whole look. You've invested so much money in Ninja Kamui. You probably spent top dollar to get the rights to Lycoris Recoil and Demon Slayer. But at the same time, it's just... And I mean, I guess, I don't know where the plot of Ninja Kamui is now. I stopped watching after the first episode. But with Lycoris Recoil, where it is in the plot, you cannot stop it for a week. <laughs> it's actually getting up. It's really kicking back up hard again. So it's like, I guess it would have been a really bad week to skip Lycoris Recoil on. You know? And, yeah, but I, I don't get why they're air, they're still going to air Ninja Conway's English sub this week. If there is a weekend excuse to not air it, it would be this one with the extenu extenuating circumstances. But, you know, Tanami makes their decisions. They made their call. And I have seen a lot of people disappointed in this treatment here. A lot of people really have stated how they don't like the fact that the Dragon Ball Z Kai Marathon is going to barely even be on the block. Because at this point, you've seen the ratings. I do these ratings videos every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, depending on how my schedule is. Yeah, by that by 2 a.m., no one's watching. Uh, people around maybe at midnight, they might stick through uh, Demon Slayer, but they're definitely not... Like we did get rid of this week. You did. You can. You can see here that uh, we won't be having One Piece or Naruto ship it in this week. That gets pushed back a week. You know. And again, since those shows are a bagillion episodes each, definitely an understandable decision. But it's kind of interesting. And Tor Toonami, people have been talking about this since after Toriyama's passing. They're like, well, Tanami's going to have a Dragon Ball Kai, Z Kai marathon or some type of Dragon Ball marathon. And then the first Saturday passed, and it was a very short notice, so it's understandable they didn't immediately have to block that. And you did get the like a little blurb at the beginning of Rest in Peace, Akira Toriyama, like at the very beginning of the block. But a lot of people were like, well, are they going to do a tribute to him outside of that? And this will be, this is Tanami's tribute to him being a marathon, an awkwardly timed marathon, being starting at 2 a.m. But again, I mean, it's the gamble they're making with Ninja Kamui's ratings. Marathons historically do horribly on Tanami too, so they might be worried, well, if we do that, and if we skip Ninja Kamui, if we skip Lycris Recoil, people just might not come back the next week. Which we have shown in data before that does happen occasionally when they have to do marathons in the middle of like a calendar year like this. It will just people just not show up the next week because they think, oh, the block's just oh well, in this case it'll be Dragon Ball the whole time, you know. Then it's interesting to see where ratings go with this week. Again, I'm anticipating Wednesday, maybe Thursday, depending on my my schedule. I'll cover the ratings from this past Saturday, March uh ninth. 2024, I had to do the math in my head. But what do you guys think? Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, coming to Tanami on March 30th. We'll be having a weird schedule on the 23rd where everything's going to be on the 15th because of Demon Slayer's ascended ending. And we will be having a Dragon Ball Z Kai Marathon starting at 2 a.m. this upcoming Saturday night. Leave your comments, leave your pins down below. I'm Super Orange Cat, and that is all.